Communities across the Bay Area drumming up new ways to remember Chad Olson and support the widow and young daughter he leaves behind. At the same time, we're getting a clearer picture of just the kind of man Chad Olson was as family and friends prepared to say their final goodbyes at this weekend's memorial service. Our Ashley Glass is live tonight outside the Church of God in Land O'Lakes. Ashley. And Jameson, in speaking with the pastor inside this church who will preside over Saturday's memorial and speaking to neighbors and speaking to Chad Olson's former boss. It's clear this man was loved and this community will continue to love and support his family. I think everybody's been trying to be as supportive as we can be. Eldeny Sprinkle stricken by the death of her neighbor Chad Olson now hoping to help Nicole, the widow he leaves behind, and daughter, just three-year-old Lexi. Definitely our, our neighborhood is behind Nicole. She she knows that anything that she needs, she can reach out to anybody here and we're there for her. Cards, dinners, and prayers. Always neighbors tell us they are there for this grieving family. He's family. Joe D of Sky Power Sports considers the Olsons an extension of his own family, Chad's boss for seven years and fellow lover of motocross. He was a big part of our lives and we want to keep them in our lives and, and help out in whatever way we can. Joe describing Chad as one with a big heart. Seen here in a 2011 ABC Action News interview at his work, Joe deciding the best way to help to ride, planning a Chad Olson memorial ride for February 9th. Get out there and get everybody together and talk about him a little bit and raise some money for the family. Joe says he's currently taking checks made out to the family right here at his shop and setting up a fund with a local bank. It'll go to Nicole and her family. You know, what they're needing for get through these troubling times and their daughter's future. It's support Joe D supposes Chad would be grateful for. I hope he'd enjoy it and I hope he'd be watching over with us and, and uh, you know, cheering us on. And, you know, we just want to keep his family as close as we can because, you know, they, they've touched our lives and we want to be able to touch theirs. Saturday's memorial service is open to everyone, and Pastor Dewey Huffstutler tells me he'll likely open by reminding mourners to prepare for every day like it was their last because you just never know. Head to our website soon, abcactionnews.com. I'm posting right now some more information about Saturday's memorial service as well as more ways to help this family. Live in Land O'Lakes, Ashley Glass, ABC Action News. And